Good day everyone. Today on the bench I'm going to tie you up the double trouble. Here's a little fly that I just looking through some of my materials last year and these hooks, these swimming nymph hooks give me an idea about doing two midges on one of these, two chronomids. So I've wrapped quite a few up. I've got different color combinations at some of the same color combinations and I took a picture of some of these and I sent it over to the Bulldog for his approval and <laughs> he kinda thought I went over the deep end not sure but uh, lo and behold a few months later I uh, did see somebody on uh, somewhere on the internet or whatever on uh, social media or something already was doing these I don't know who it was but uh, I'm going to give them a try. I've been tying up a few. I'm going to give that a whirl. So some little fun. You might want to try it. These are tied on a 1770 swimming nymph hook. Uh, Daichi does those. and might be other um, folks that do those. I'm going to use some fluorescent smoke a buzzer wrap. This is coming out of England. It's very nice for your chronomids. And also for the rib. I'm going to use some holographic tinsel and this is small and I like using the wine color instead of the red. It's not quite so bright and you do get the nice red segmentation and it's not quite so loud. It's uh, something I've kind of found I like it a little better but up to you. You can try all the color combinations and go wild with this one. And then we need some white beads. I'm just going to use some small glass very extra small white glass beads just to fish, fix the okay I was brought out the wrong size I was gonna use number 12 or 14 hook and that's pretty small I'm gonna I'm gonna go to a talon swimming nymph number 12 let's go a little bigger than the 14 and I'll slide two glass beads on the shank of the hook before I put it in the vise Clamp it in. I'll just use some rusty brown thread. You can use probably red would work even better, better on here even. Okay, and then we're going to get some of my um, tinsel. If I can find the end of it. There it goes. Kind of head down. Couldn't find the end of it. Tying our tinsel over the, over the rear. I'm just going to space away quite a bit. I don't want to cover too much of the shank with my thread. I don't want to change the color of it too much. Then I'm going to go to the smoke buzzer wrap. And of course you can change all your colors to, my, to match. I'm going to take a couple strands. This is really, really nice material. Folks over in England, boy, they come out with some pretty cool stuff. And they've been fishing lakes a long time. And catch that on there if I can see it. There we go. And I'll just tie my thread off. Get it out of the way. Over the rear I'm just going to wind my smoke buzzer wrap to the back here. I just thought when I seen these hooks the nice Bends. I like the configuration of these these bends and give me an idea. Thought I reinvented the wheel and I see there's another somebody else did it. Kind of a cool idea. I'm not sure how he's making it. I'll have to try to check on it, see if I can find it again and get in touch with the fella and see how they're working for him. I haven't fished him much. Just want to throw this one at you and. <laughs> See what you think of it. Maybe you want to try a few up. I'm just going to take some wide turns of the wine holographic. Change the color of this pretty quick with one with that uh, holographic. So I don't like it the wide stuff. I like the narrow, thin holographic. Just very subtle rib. There we go. That'll make my chronometer at the rear. 
I'm just going to tip this down just get so I get this one kind of easier to work with. Start my thread <clears throat> and we'll just repeat. Let's just do it. We can make two different colors on here if you want. I kind of got thinking, you know, that sometimes you get throat samples and you got multiple colors. Cronies in there in the sample and you know what? Maybe this would imitate both of them instead of trying to for which one they're eating, maybe they'll take this fly because they see the one color they want in there. I'm, judge is still out on that one, so we'll have to get to the leak and swim it a little more. I like to put proven patterns on on this uh, videos for you here, but I just thought this was kind of unique and kind of fun. So let's let's have a look, and maybe some of you will be out there and try it and. Then we'll start a new new trend. The double trouble team. <laughs> anyway, I'm just getting a nice slender body on the front. That buzzer wrap is really nice. That wine's so thin, tight, and beautiful colors too. Comes in a lot of colors. I think I bought four or five colors of it. And I don't just take wide turns of my holographic wine tinsel on here. I want more of a gray body. I don't want to overtake it with the red or the wine I should say. And we'll just get a whip finish in behind here. And there we go. So that's not that hard to tie and might create a little bit of a hatch situation. You want you can take some solar res, get the bone, the bones uh, is very very thin, and dries and cures real well with your UV light. You can coat that up with that and uh, make it a little stronger. But I think that's a pretty cool looking little fly. So give that a try, folks, and uh, get back to us on that one. Is see if it's a boom or a bust. And all the best on the water. Sometimes you have to think outside the box and reinvent the wheel or create perfect new mouse trap. All the best to you. See you in the water. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you would like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.